It's all you have to do. Do the shake and back and put the freshness back. Do the shake and back and put the much like the U4002 that I featured recently on the channel, which was sold, um, this is the U4014 Ranger. Um, it's the uh, replacement machine to the U4002 and was launched in 1976 and it ran until 1980. This is a real firm favourite of all the uh, collectors out there. This, this machine... Um, if anything was ever going to be labelled as a copper bottom classic, it's this cleaner right here. This is, uh, yeah, quite something. A lot of us around sort of my age, uh, we grew up with these cleaners. Um, as I mentioned in, I think it was the 345 video, my auntie and uncle had this very model in their big grand house. And I used to love to run in and uh, see it and use it. It's a wonderful cleaner, one of my personal favourites. I was sort of umming and eyeing about whether or not to keep this machine, um, but in the end I thought, I've already got one. Um, there's one out in the garage. It's uh, it's not, um, like, assembled, as it were. It's, uh, it's being broken down into pieces. But that's kind of urged me on now to get that one working and get it absolutely perfect. Um, I think that one will be really, really nice when it's done. But anyway, this one will be for for sale now um, and as per the usual process of uh, rebuilding these machines I've done a lot to it um, the suppressor's been taken out as I always do with these get rid of those damn things they're pain in the bum total, total nightmare everything's been stripped down um, the most has been taken completely apart stripped and cleaned um, top bearing has been given grease bottom bearing has been given oil uh, everything's been checked, um, brush roll's been stripped and cleaned, bearings oiled, it's got a brand new belt on it, it's got a brand new paper bag on it. Um, the outer bag is in really nice shape, if I just bring it around so you can see it. Um, it's really nice on this one. Um, there were a couple of rips and tears in it, but I've actually managed to fix them. Now, interestingly, on this model, and not on the U4002, it has this odd sort of bag spreader here this is a piece of plastic which is um, attached to the bag throat and it's used to just basically just keep the bag spread so it's to keep it open it's a slightly smaller bag on the 4014 than on the 4002 if you um go back and watch the video with the 4, 4002 uh that bag sort of comes up out like this so it's sort of wider it's very strange but they changed it i don't know why i guess this sort of makes it look a bit more modern a bit more sleek maybe perhaps that's what they were, they were going for who knows it was over um, but what can happen is that this uh, piece of plastic here this bag spreader plastic can actually wear through the bag over time I mean you know it's uh, this this particular machine is from 1980 so it's uh, it's one of the last of the 4014s interestingly the one in the garage is actually also from 1980 and they're, they're, they're only a couple of months apart I can't remember which is the older one but yeah there we go it doesn't really matter um, so there were a couple of uh, sort of tears in the bag and I've repaired it with um, I'm sort of like using really powerful glue to uh, there's actually one there I don't know if you can see it so this is a repair that I've done it's just it's just there uh, you can't really see it with your naked eye. Um, you have to be really close to it. And if you look on the inside, you see where I've sort of glued pieces of plastic um, on the inside of the bag, so you don't see them on, on the outside. It's very hard to see. You would never know it's there. Unless you knew or you looked inside, you would never see it. So just bear that in mind that the outer bag has been um, repaired in places but uh, on the whole it is in lovely shape it really is the whole clean is really good considering its age you know you can't ask for much more really there are a few marks to the hood as there always are with these cleaners as i mentioned to you in the 4002 video because they're so tall um it's a real you know this 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 hood is is really tall 
off the ground and as they got older and people didn't care about them they were bashed into sofas they were scraped down radiators you know they just <laughs> weren't treated particularly well and as is the case with this one we have a couple of um, score marks running down the side of the hood here which is um, a shame but you know to be uh, expected um, from a cleaner of this age there is just one other thing to mention there is a crack here on the top of the hood um, it starts here just behind the lamp lens and then it runs probably for about two inches along here um, now I have actually treated this and I've sealed it underneath so on the underside of the hood I've sealed it up so the crack won't get any worse and it's not super obvious with the light shining on it this way I can see I can see it and I can obviously feel it um, so there is a crack there in the hood um, if you're gonna bid on this cleaner then you know take that into account um, so it's not perfect which is a real shame but it's lovely I mean for what it is for the age of it it's really nice also, just to say, um, it's got brand new flex on it, uh, a nice vintage plug, which is uh, EverReady style, nice big chunky EverReady plug, All, always good to see. Um, the cord winders are in nice shape, they have been replaced on this one. These are um, sort of like a generic winder they're like this cream color originally they would have been the same avocado shade i think they would have been anyway i um, can't find the handle to my other one so i'm not entirely sure but i think they were probably avocado originally unless i've completely made that up but uh, i think they have been replaced at some stage but they are there they are functional there's no cracks in them there's no marks on them uh, yeah they are perfect. The machine works as you would expect. Um, it has the twin speed function as well. So when you put the tools in, which we will see later on, um, you get your full 600 watts. Um, I'm not gonna go and ramble on again about the twin speed uh, system that I was thinking about for the 4002. I'm, I'm still pondering that actually. It might be something to think about and maybe do. If I could find a scrap one, um, it, it would be interesting to see it if I could do that. But for, for more detail on those ponderings, go and check out the 4002 video. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, oh yes, there was a new bulb, put a new bulb in as well, new bag, so that's everything covered. So yeah, the machine is really nice. Um, and I think now we'll check out the tools because you also get a tool kit with this particular machine. How's that for a, a bonus? Okay, so now that we've got the 4014 out of the way, let's check out the toolkit that you get with it. So, what do you start with? Well, we've got the hose here. So here's the hose for the machine. The hose is in really nice shape, actually. Um, again, this has not had much use. Uh, they very rarely did because um, they were, well, I, I wouldn't say they were pointless, but they weren't particularly great. You didn't get a huge amount of suction from these. So here's the, the rear, con converter unit. Now this has got sort of like uh, surface rust on it and the original white paint was peeling off so I've sprayed it black because um, I didn't have any white paint in at the time. I personally don't mind it being black I think it looks quite cool actually but uh, if you bid on and win this cleaner and you would rather this section was painted white just let me know it's fine it's fine I can easily paint that white for you that is not a problem whatsoever um, as I say hose is in great shape there's no splits no tears no nothing um, the um, uh, the catch on the bent end is absolutely fine so that is all good we will see the hose working later when we take the um, 4014 in to um, have its uh, demonstration in the lounge um, now we've got one extension rod here, and only one rod sadly. Uh, I don't have any other ones that I can put with it, which is a shame. But it's just the standard Hoover um, rod, you know, if you've got one currently for a junior or senior or freedom or a celebrity or anything like that. It's just a standard rod which you can use with it. So you'll get one rod with this kit. Um, but if you want to use the ranger to clean your hard floors, then you're probably going to need another rod 
to go with it. And on that point, you get uh, the hard floor brush as well. So this is a genuine Hoover hard floor brush in cream. Always nice, nice to see a bit of cream, we all love it. Um, in really good shape. This has seen hardly any use whatsoever. In fact, it's almost completely clean. I would say it's been used about twice. <laughs> so you get your hard floor brush. You also get your standard Hoover dusting brush in cream as well, genuine Hoover with the symbol on it. Um, and these sort of uh, rotate as well. So they have a, um, I suppose you call that an articulating joint on it. So you can like switch it round, you can do up and above, you can do over and under, you can flip it round there, you can do whatever you, you want with it, it's your special day. So you get that too. And you get the genuine Hoover all purpose nozzle. With this one's got the rubberized um, uh, th thread catcher on it. You get that. And you also get the crevice tool. Now, I will just point out that this is not a genuine Hoover. This is not a genuine, cut that, edit it. This is not a genuine Hoover crevice tool. This is um, a replacement um, tool. I've, I've seen these before, actually. They, they used to be really popular. I used to see a lot of them. Um, it's not genuine hoover at all and it's um this is white um hopefully you can you may not be able to see the difference there because of how the light is shining through the window um but yeah this is white this is cream so there's a color difference there um but yeah you get a pretty good cleaning salt kit with the ranger so yeah anything you want to clean you clean perfect and i think that's about it that's pretty much everything that i wanted to chat about with the um, Ranger. Let me just move these over here and then we'll bring this back, back up. Ah, there we go. Nice to be strong. <laughs> Not the lightest machine in the world. So there we go. You get a pretty good kit for, you, for your cash here. Um, it's not much more you, you could want really. Maybe an instruction book and an extra rod, but yeah, not bad. So this will be listed um, I think I'll probably do this on Sunday, actually. So today is Saturday. Um, the video will go live tomorrow, and I'll probably put the auction live tomorrow evening, probably around six o'clock. So as per usual, um, you'll see the uh, link in the um, uh, description box for the video. So yeah, if you want it, then go and have a bid on it. It is a, a really nice one, I must say. It's, um, it's one of the better recons. Um, yeah, it's nice. Please give this machine a, a new home. Um, that's it for now. We're going to, going to take the Ranger into the lounge. We'll give it a go on the carpet. We'll also check out the tools as well. Uh, I'm going to try and vacuum my kitchen floor uh, with just one rod, which would be interesting. So that's going to be uh, uh, not ideal for my back, but oh well, never mind. Need to show it working. As per usual, um, don't forget to comment, subscribe and like. Always appreciate it. It really helps me out. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.